Welcome back to more Icarus. This is the beta weekend uh, that the guys are running currently with just the forest and some parts of the action attack tree. So not everything is there yet, but we played a very good chunk. We played about four hours last night and we played it kind of end to end. We, we started at the planet. We went up to tier two. We did a lot of the survival stuff and the crafting and the base building. And then we actually left the planet and we went back to our pod and we extracted. To get access to the beta, you have to have pre-purchased the game. Now you can buy the standard version, which I would recommend, which is currently on a discount as well for like under $30. And this is the beta roadmap. So you go, welcome to Icarus Prospector. So this is the forest area where they want you to get familiar with everything first, like, you know, the basic mechanics. And then they're going to have another weekend on the 11th to 12th September, where they do the storms. Then the Arctic is going to be added on the 25th and 26th, and then the desert. And then we have missions added. And then, of course, the game is going to be released. So we're looking forward to a lot of beta weekends, which is actually amazing to see the progress of the game and to get slowly more and more of the features included. Now, you might be thinking, what are you going to do now while you're playing it again? Well, we can actually continue pretty much in a way where we left off. Our character progression is remembered. So you go down to the planet to do your session, you extract with your exotics, or in, in this case, in the beta, was nothing. <laughs> you just extract and you can start a new session, but your progress is remembered. So if we're going to continue with our character and we start a new prospect, sure, we're going to start again with nothing built on the planet. Uh, everything is gone, but our progress is there. So our tech tree that we focused on yesterday is actually still remembered. And also, also is the talent tree. So the talents we spent yesterday are actually exactly remembered as is. Well, not in the beta. The whole point of this game is that after you finish your session, you come back with your exotics, you exchange them for enhanced tools, currency, something like that. You actually can see all these tabs here that are grayed out, inventory loadout. So this is all the stuff you're going to be able then to enhance between each session. So you start a new prospect. This is the only location you can pick. And here you go. This would be obviously all your friends or whatever like would be with you, but I'm by myself. So let's go claim the prospect and host the session and off we get into the planet. And here we are in our pod that we're not crash landing with, that we're actually intentionally landing with on the planet. So the location is always random. Let's see if we already have a map. Oh, actually it is pretty much the same location. It always seems to be landing around here, these type of, um, on that river which is a good starting location. Look at this, you have the window here. The game looks absolutely stunning. It looks amazingly beautiful. The animations to everything is done really well. The building, the combat, it's really, really beautiful. Um, again, basic survival game, start collecting things. Um, if you played Ark before, this will be literally right, you feel right at home. Yeah, just hold down F and just go through the nearby area. Now, the only thing you have to watch out for in the beginning is wolves and bears. If you see a bear, if you don't get lucky that he gets stuck in the trees, um, you're screwed. That's it. And when you die, everything is gone. Well, it depends. So if you're playing with multiple people, if you die, your body is there and somebody can actually revive you and you keep everything on you. But if you're playing by yourself, uh, like I do right now, the only option you have is to actually die, die, as in respawn at your bed. And if that happens, you lose all your stuff. Everything is gone that you had on you. Um, your base is fine, but everything you had on you is gone. Your um, progress, your experience for the current level is nearly completely reset and it's like red and you have to earn that experience back before you get new experience. So it's a bit of like, little bit like seven days to die when you die. So the game seems to borrow or have a lot of features, borrow is not the right word, have a lot of features in this game where you go, oh, that's like that game or that's like that game. It tries to bring the best of all the features kind of together, I think. And yes, you can swim in this game and you can drink the water and look at this, beautiful absolutely amazing now there's little piranhas in there which are little dicks and bite you but that's okay they don't hurt you that much and you have a third person so i can actually go into third person mode now third person seems to be still a bit junky as in once you go into third person you get uh, some stutter the performance or the visual updates are not as good as you can see so i don't play in third person i actually prefer staying here in first person and um, the performance is okay 
Um, I don't think we had any major issues you know, during the stream. We did have some stutters, but that is only because everything was set to epic in the settings. So I set everything to high and it seems to be a little bit better. Now on the bottom left, you can see your health, which is the plus sign. The bar was the plus sign. On the top left, um, if I remember to take my face off for a second or move it, you can see my level there whenever I pick things up and you get experience. Um, you can see what I get on experience when I gather, when I craft, all those shenanigans. You on the bottom left have the temperature, uh, the blue is obviously how cold you are, the red how hot you are, then you have your O2, your, which is your oxygen, and then you have your food and your water. Now drinking, you can drink from here, everything is fine. Right now in the beta, you, there's no such thing as dirty water, you can keep drinking from here, that's fine. Um, food, you can find some berries um, to actually feed you, so you can just consume them. Everything you eat kind of gives you also a little bit of a passive stack, I'm just looking out for bears gives you a little bit of a passive stack as well and um, as you can see here which gives you like say uh, bonuses to your stamina to your health and if you eat different foods like you have meat they get their own buffs and then I think you have uh, something else you can fish you can eat and it gets your own buffs so you have meat fish and uh, a fruit which give you like the kind of the same buff but they're all stuck so your health bar can actually get quite big which is really nice so let's get right into the tech tray and um, these two things you will have unlocked by default. You don't have to worry about it if you haven't played it before. So we're gonna get a stone axe, a stone pickaxe crafted straight away. And then we can get ourselves more stone now. So we don't have to worry about picking up the stone. Like there is a complete health bar that you see there. The stone has a health bar as you can see in the middle. And um, once you completely destroy something, you get kind of like a little bit of a resource bonus and XP bonus. With the big rocks, of course, it's going to take forever. But you will notice that... Oh, Genie Mark, just a raccoon. You will notice that straight away with um, the iron ores and all that, like they're very small. So you get like these little bonuses, which is very nice to grind XP early on in the game. Okay, so now that we have more stone, let's make ourselves the stone axe. And I'm also going to make myself straight away a knife and a bow and as many arrows as possible. So that way we're okay, straight away sorted. So you can see right now, I don't have to go to the tech tree. You would have to go level up first and then spend your first three points on what you think is more important, like say a bow, stone arrows, and so on and so on. So whatever you deem the most important. But now that we're set, um, that we played already, the next time you start, you see things are already moving along a little bit faster, which is great. There you go. So now we have a knife, which does tremendous damage to anything. You can even kill a bear with it if you have enough health buffs on you um, before he kills you, which is very good. So let's get more stone. We're going to make a little campfire. Then we're going to have to go and hunt down some animals so we can get some leather and make ourselves a bed and then get more sticks and stones, um, sticks and fiber to make ourselves a very basic base. Here we go, make ourselves a campfire. Then we're gonna go and get some fish and we can start uh, cooking up the fish. You can eat the fish raw as well, but the both and the benefits you get from it are not as good as when you cook it. Now I already have bandages unlocked, so I'm gonna make a few bandages as well, put them straight away on my hotbar in case I get attacked. But let's deploy the fire. The grass doesn't get cleared out with the fire for some reason, but when you build a base, I believe it clears out the area a little bit, which is nice. Okay, so we put a little bit of, um, actually let's get some trees chopped and get some proper wood. And we actually already have some base building unlocked for wood. So I think we might actually do a wooden base straight away. We're not gonna build our base right here. Um, this here is gonna be just the basics first and then we're gonna find a nice place nearby. Okay, so let's put wood in here for fire and let's get some fish. Oh, those stacks, they make some noises. Okay. So you can actually just go underwater and um, these things are very good um, to pick up straight away for actually giving you water. They're sponges and you can put that on your hotbar and you can use them for drinking. So that, that's something you can do before you get a water pouch. Is there no piranhas here? There you go. There's a little piranha. Let's go and chop chop. There you go. Nice. Let's pick it up. They're wiggling around a little bit in the current. So there we go, we picked it up. We have some raw fish now. We have two pieces of raw fish. You multiply it and, oh, that wolf. And as you can see, um, raw fish plus 15 food when consumed, but it doesn't give you any buffs. But if we put it on the fire and cook it, go activate. You can see the recipes here on what actually cooks. You can just slap all that stuff in there, leave the fire running and it cooks everything. 
And here we go, one of the fish is ready. You can see plus 30 health when consumed, plus 80 food when consumed. There we go. Oh, wolf. Let's go with the knife. There we go, we got him. Excellent. He didn't even get a hit off, I think. Very nice. But you can see with the fish now, we also have a buff here called um, Cooked Fish. And it gives us 75 stamina. 100 extra uh, maximum health and plus 15 regeneration per minute which is great and now that we have a wolf we're also gonna get um meat from that so we can cook the meat and we get the triple buff scenario so we got some leather some bones and a piece of meat there you go just keep smacking the carcass to get more bones and now here we can put in the meat beautiful okay the meat is cooked now and if we eat that consume boom you can see the health bar is growing again and we now have that holy trinity of food bonuses. There you go. And they last for quite some time. You can see like um, the berry stack is nearly gone. So let's consume, fill it up, 590 seconds, 500 seconds and 800 seconds for the meat. So now we're pretty buffed and that's a very good start. There we go, nice. So if you aim at something, uh, it's at a creature's head and you get that perfect headshot, it actually kills it in one shot. And it also does a special animation, which looks pretty awesome. It's something that you can see in Sniper Elite or something where it goes like follows the arrow and it goes back right in the face, which is amazing. Anyway, there we go. More pelt. Very good. More leather. It's very good when everything comes to you. So it means we can actually craft a bed now, I think. Yes, there we go. Look at that beauty. And I think the bed doesn't work unless you deploy it inside a shelter or something. So if we put it here now, um, hold to set spawn point, does it work? Nope, this bed requires more shelter. So that is not good enough. Um, we probably can't even spawn here. So the best thing is to build maybe a little box at first, put your bed in so you have a safe spawn point, put some storage in there and then go looking for a base, uh, for a spot for a base. So that's what we're gonna do now as well. Now to get oxygen, what you need is you need to look for these blue stones on the ground. They're called oxides. And either using oxides, uh, you can eat them directly. They're like, I don't think they're rocks, like they're whatever they are. Like, yeah, you can eat them directly to replenish like 2% of your oxygen. Or you can, once you have your pickaxe, find oxide stones and just get it from there, which is obviously much quicker. And yes, you can build eventually like a little uh, stations and all that that actually give you a proper oxygen supply as in the balloons that you can go to and just so and then you can get transport uh, portable oxygen as well so as you can see here we can put that on the hot bar and um, we can then eat it and our oxygen is at 33 one of them goes up to 36 so it's actually three percent 39 42 and so on so you can just basically sit there hold it in your hand and just chomp away on it until your oxygen is refilled or you can just go into here and say, I want to have the cold stack consumed and that brings you up to 92. So I'm gonna get a little bit more oxide as well. So we have um, no pressure on that. And we already sorted food, drink, oxygen, no problem. One of the things I wanna try is, can you build a base on top of mountains? Now this is a non-minable mountain, but or little hill, but we seem to be able to get up there to a certain degree. So let's see if we can actually get ourselves away from the animals on the ground. I love it. So let's actually see if we can make, uh, build a little base on that. So thatch floor. And we might need some thatch beams as well for support. There you go. So let's put the floor here and let's put the beams here. Now I'm only building thatch because this is literally just where I'm gonna put uh, my bed. So we have a spawn point and some uh, storage. Okay, so can we put this down straight away? We can, oh wow. That is actually pretty epic, I like that. Okay, and you can craft from your menu if you don't have something. Um, there you go, look at that, nice. Okay, and um, you can't make things magically float. So if there is no support, eventually it will collapse. So you, oh, you are going to have to make sure that everything is supported. So let's see if we can put some support beams there. Excellent, they're actually attached. That's beautiful. So that will put support on that. Um, I think the color shows how much support it is in the moment it's blue. Um, here you can build another support. That is beautiful. And in case we need to put more support down there. Excellent, let's see. Yeah, there was something. 
Excellent, that's beautiful. So I don't know if the rock actually counts as something that can support the weight of this, but we'll see, we'll see. So let's actually make some uh, roof tiles as well and see if we can make like a nice ramp up. I know animals will be able to use the ramp as well, but at least we have something new that we tried out. Here we go, we can build the next one here and the next one here. Perfect. And now we can just walk up here to our little base. That's pretty sweet. I like it. It's a nice little view of everything. Okay, here we have a weather warning incoming, so it will be starting to rain very soon. So we probably should get um, our base sorted. Here we go. Let's make some more support beams here. Excellent. And that should hopefully hold everything in place. Okay, so walls are incoming, ceiling is incoming because we are getting um, storm exposure, which I think eventually will actually lower our health. So um, let's have a look. Oh, we're out of sponge, so we have to go down to get some water, but let's put the walls in here. There we go. Nice. And we need two more walls. Oh, we have no more resources left to make more walls. Okay, let's put the ceiling on. That should help for now. There we go. Excellent. And we're safe. Our exposure should be going down now. No, it's not really safe enough. <laughs> Can we cower in the corner? No, okay, we might as well go quickly down and get some more resources to finish up the walls. We need two more wall pieces, so it shouldn't be taking too much time. So let's see what we need. Wall pieces, we just need a little bit more fiber, which is right here. Okay, let's see. Two more wall pieces. Excellent. Go wall piece number one going down. And we can change that to a doorway. And this here will be a wall. Excellent. And now our exposure is going down. Very nice. On the bot on the top right, you can see now um, the temperature. You can see um, the weather kind of forecast, which is really, really nice. So we can see when the sun is coming back. Now, uh, storm exposure is not too bad. Like, yeah, but um, eventually it will lower your uh, health, I think. Oh, there's a little doggy right at our door. Bam. Nice. And he's down. Didn't last very much. Oh, he got dragged out from the water. I think he's gone. Is he gone? Let me see. Oh, there he is. Nice. Underwater uh, skinning is a sport in this game. <laughs> no, it happens sometimes. There we go. Very nice. Let's take it all. Now, you can't be forever underwater. Eventually, you will get uh, damaged. And here, here's our little base. I'm just gonna get our bed. Now the base is not completely stable, so I don't think I would build anything big there. You can see when you're trying to attach things, whatever is green is safe. It has a lot of storage. I think it has a lot of support, but whatever is blue, I think is like, uh, you know, could be better, but let's go and get our bed. There we go, from over there. Oh, what was that? So let's swim across and get our bed and then our bed will act as a respawn point where's our bed gone oh the weather destroyed it oh wow yes campfire is here still i think no nope, it's all destroyed no nope, there it is there's the campfire so let's actually eat that fish before it goes off let's take all the wood let's take the fire so let's see if we can make a new bed excellent yes crafted and then we can just deploy this beautiful and yeah sure let's put it right here and then we can put some storage over on the other side there we go nice and let's see if we can build some storage and we already have the big uh, crates or the medium crates unlocked so i would say let's build two of those and then i think we can stack a second one on top of it really using that space beautiful okay and there you go now we can put everything away and um, we just take out what we need in a minute. But the campfire again, let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, we're gonna be screwed. But I think you can just place it down here. It's absolutely fine. As long as you don't walk over it, you should be fine. So let's put some wood there. 
There we go. Let's take some of the meat out that we can cook. Take the food out in general. There we go. And activate. There you go. It's not catching fire, but you don't want to walk over it. If you walk over it, you're screwed. And there you go. First day, we survived our bed to skip forward the night. We can just sleep in it. And that's it. And time will move on. If you leave, uh, time will move on on that planet. So let's um, consume the stack to get all our oxygen back. And now we just want to make sure we have enough resources on us to make more arrows. There you go. Perfect. And our food is ready. Beautiful. There we go. We're fully fed. We have, uh, we're fully hydrated and we're a little bit more hungry. So let's eat another piece of meat. And that's us completely sorted. First day survived. Very nice. Now, again, I'm going to be finishing this episode here now, but it will continue the world. It will. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. We're going to deactivate this actually just in case. And now I show you when you log off, we are going to return to character selection, which basically is leaving this prospect as they call it we're going back to the menu and this world will continue so when you come back it could be day 15 or something but your character shouldn't be hungry i mean that should all be remembered like your character state but you can see here the countdown is happening so if you play on a world which is only alive for 20 hours or something and you don't do as much as possible in the 20 hours and extract you're probably going to lose. Um, I don't know if you lose your character or if you're just going to end up back at the station. So, but right now we are actively in a prospect and um, we're just going to click on this and continue the pro join prospect to come to go back to our world. But time will have moved on. Anyway, I'm going to leave this first episode here. That was really good. We got completely sorted out for the first day, uh, build our first base, get our sleeping area, our spawn point, got storage, uh, got food, got water sorted. And now, the next part of the grind uh, begins in the next episode where we're gonna get uh, to find a proper base spot and build it out of proper wood, get all the resources together and start building the base that we want for crafting, where we're gonna build the forges, the chimney, the fireplace to cook some food, or the oxygenator or whatever it's called, the oxonizer. Uh, for making oxide, you know, actually more useful and last longer and all those shenanigans. Anyway, I hope you had a good time with this episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaß and happy gaming.